all of your, everyone, your family, friends, sponsors, and our team for all coming out for this event. This is to celebrate our first four-wheel drive car, which we did for the year, they didn't um, mandate it, but it took a lot of work and we wanted to celebrate it, the wrapping up of our season. And of course, if you are a family of one of our teammates, you know the time commitment, I hope. So it did take quite a bit of work to get put all this together. All right, guys, so we're here at the Hang of the Helmet event for the NJIT Highlander Racing Team. Seven. Hello. I would say, if this is a guess, every day. Yeah, if not physically, mentally. Seven. Brakes, brakes. Oh, the mother comes in with the reception. It says brakes. Brakes. I love it. It's on my uh, name tag. By the way. <laughs> the funny thing when you got to us, I misunderstood. I thought you say suspended. It would mean you got suspended from the team. It's suspension, right? He's pretty good at changing the tire and the bike. Would you like to answer? Uh, she makes the car go forward. <laughs> Sure, let's get out and kick some roost. I'm really proud of what you guys have accomplished. You guys have put a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. Alright, so Pat's going to be hanging the helmet now. We're going to count down to five. Five, four, three, two, one. We get there, um, everything goes really well in the beginning, and then it started raining. You just see a wall of rain approaching from behind. Everyone realized what it was too late, and everyone had to sprint back. Um, and a lot of people got stuck in the rainstorm on the way. All the cars got shoved into the forest. It's definitely uh, Baja, California in 2017, the yeah. the endurance race. How was that? It was exciting. We had our driver, Matt Emerson, he stuck it out in the car for four hours. Wow. Well, the other team. Great. Yeah. That was our championship event, correct? That was, the, that was when we won the whole race. So, the best competition for me, let's just say the Caterpillar site. You know, Any particular reason for that? The organization of the site, um, how well the event ran. Uh, we were able to compete and do everything we wanted to do, and we performed fairly well. The nights that you're up until 7 a.m., go to class the next day, you go to, you go do your homework right after that, then you go right back to the shop, and then you work in the shop for the rest of the, for the, rest of the day. You knock out for like three hours and you have to run back to the shop. Then you guys are there prepping for the competition the next day, you know, getting pizza at one in the morning. All the late nights with all the people I was working with really built a connection with a lot of people on the team and solidified some relationships. There. That is probably some of the best memories I've ever had. It's more than just the car, right? Correct. It's about the friendships you get to build and the things you get to learn. Passing brake check was exciting, especially brake check. being a brake check. Yes, sir. I can attest to that one. Yeah. Seeing all four of those wheels lock up is a great thing. Oh, man. It's truly beautiful. Nothing feels better than that. A lot, but what I would say is try to design early and build early and don't put yourself in that situation. You never want to be last minute building and designing things or manufacturing for that matter to try to make it to a competition. Honestly, as important as school can be and you know you want to get good grades, one of the critical things is getting experience. It's one of the things that got me. Baja is basically working for the first few years of your college career. I'd say it's never too early to get things done. The competition comes before you know it. What are your guys' hopes? Make things lighter, more efficient, get the car running faster? Also TV3, that's lighter and has a wider range for the ratio. Alright, so for me, this overall season of 2022-23 season, I would like our business half of the organization to get well established. That way we can start getting funding from different sources. What are your goals? So again, we are really bolstering our business team this year. So one of the things that I'm focusing on is making sure our new members 
customers feel like they have a place, feel like they have something to do. Our goal for this year is to have everyone on the team work efficiently and smoothly together. Uh, the main aspiration would obviously be um, better at testing and validation, good numbers, good analysis on what ergonomics is and how it affects person driving. Pretty much sky's the limit, honestly. I definitely want to see a few more ways to enhance this car with less components using Arduino, even using maybe Raspberry Pi if the option's available. But uh, there's some things brewing up for less go. If I had to put anything as to my aspirations, my aspiration is to have a full design cycle. To really get the most out of the learning experience, which is Baja SAE. Well, my goals, I've got a couple of those. I want to do a lot of data collection. I really want to verify what we think we know about brakes. Hi hey everyone, I'm Jeff. Um, I'm going to be designed for this uh, upcoming season. As we all know, our car right now is a tank, so we can handle as much as we throw at it. This so upcoming year, we're looking to go more towards the maneuverability side of things. Our biggest goals right now are going to be reducing the overall car's weight by about 50 pounds and also really tune into our details for our suspension and handling. Uh, our car wasn't that maneuverable this year, however, uh, we did some research and we got our mistakes. And so we're looking to counter those this year um, and have an over overall lighter, faster, and more maneuverable car. Thanks, buddy. I was thinking about it.